Good morning. It is September 14th. It is a balmy 7 degrees Celsius right now. Yeah, then again, it is 9 in the morning, so what do you expect? That is... Forty-five degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! But today's high is supposed to be twenty-one Celsius, which is seventy Fahrenheit. So not a bad day all in all. So I think I have all the roof penetrations done now. The holes where I put the solar panel uh, supports through. These ones too. All my electrical is in, except for the solar wires themselves. But I can punch that through at any time. So that means, within the next little while, I'll start putting in I'll start putting in the wood for the ceiling, sort of like what I have here. This is just to hold these wires up. They were getting in my way. Oh, were they getting in my way? So today's excitement! Oh, I can't wait! See that nice pile of lumber over there? Yeah. I already used the biscuit jointer to put all the, what, but what do you call those? Holes? Slots? Whatever. I used the biscuit, I used the biscuit jointer to put all those notches in place. So now what I want to do, I want to pre-stain all of these before I put them in place. This way I can just throw them up, not have to worry about sanding and getting all that stuff into the bus. I'll have it all done and all I have to do is nail it into place. So now I just have to set this up so I can paint, not paint, but stain all of these, all these lovely pieces of lumber. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I think my plan might be going south already. Why? Why you ask? I don't know if you can see that very well. It looks like a rain cloud. A very big rain cloud. I'm not liking that. It's hard to tell which way it's going. I got blue above me. But over there, that's the wrong kind of blue. Anyway, I'm going to get this set up and... Then I'll give you a brief little look for what it looks like before, and what it looks like after, and what it looks like with the stain on. So hang tight and we'll be right back. Well, since I'm not trusting these clouds over my shoulder, I checked the weather network and it said it's supposed to rain today. Even though yesterday said it was supposed to be nice and sunny and 21. Yeah. So, I'm taking my shop inside. I was going to do it outside, but oh well. So this is my setup. Two sawhorses there, two sawhorses there, and I can do about half the lumber at a time. So I'll put three coats on the lumber that's on there right now, stack them, put these guys where these ones are, stain those, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So yeah, just hang tight and uh, we'll see what it looks like shortly. And we're back. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. The sun came out, kind of. The wind picked up quite a bit. 50 kilometer winds, which is about 30 miles per hour. But I do have, but I do have the second batch of wood stained. Here's what it looks like. Not all wood is equal. See how this wood is a lot darker than this one? That's because it had more of a natural red tone in it. See how this is more red than this part? That's what happened here. This had more of a natural red tone and this was the whiter color. That's why this part is darker than this. If you're using the vinegar and steel wool stain that I'm using and you want a darker wood, go for something that has more of the natural red color in it. Like I said, like this here. If you're wanting something a little lighter, like this piece right here, 
go for something that has more of the natural light color in it. Oh, of course there's none there. But you know what I'm talking about. Look for something that has more of this white color compared to the red color. This is the first batch. I already put the varathane on it. I hope I didn't stack it too soon. It feels like they're sticking together. So I'm going to put the varathane on this batch of wood. A couple of coats like I did on that one. I think I did two coats on that first batch. And then I'm going to call it a day. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I probably won't film it. All I'm going to be doing is sanding down all the lumber that has the varathane on it, then putting a final coat of varathane. The reason I didn't stain these ones is because they need the apple cider stain, because this needs the darker color that matches the walls, because this is a slightly, slightly different color. So yeah, that's why these ones haven't been stained yet. I have to do the apple cider instead. That one, th this stuff, I haven't quite figured out if I'm gonna be using it or not. Most likely will. That's it for now. Catch you next time. Have a good one.